There's a couple of ways you can add GPS functionality to your Ponagachi. One is to Bluetooth tether your Ponagachi to a cell phone and use the cell phone's GPS, serving the information via PAW server for Android. This seems like it has the potential to be a troubleshooting black hole that will spaghetti vacation all of the fun and all of the free time. Alternately, we can throw a few bucks at it and make all those problems go away. We can get GPS up and running in 20 minutes, and it will make your Ponogachi look more mecha, more cyberpunk. So let's do that. First, some of the plugins interact with the internet, so we're going to get the Ponogachi to use a VPN. Go to Settings, Network, and Internet Status, and click on Change Adapter Options. If you're using a VPN client, it should have created a virtual adapter. Right-click it and select Properties, and select the Sharing tab. Check the Allow Other Network Users to Connect Through This Computer's Internet Connection. Under Home Networking Connection, Select your USB over Ethernet. Wait a minute. Strike that. Reverse it. Thank you adapter according to its name. If home networking connections is not available, make sure that your VPN is turned on. If your Ethernet over USB adapter's name isn't available, make sure your Ponogachi is plugged in. Click OK. You might get a warning that your Ethernet over USB adapter needs to be assigned a new IP address and that you'll need to configure DHCP on the attached device. This is incorrect, so let's correct it. Let's go back into the Ethernet over USB adapter and reassign its IP address. We should now be able to access the Ponogachi's web UI at 10.0.0.2 colon 8080. If not, try disabling and then re-enabling the VPN adapter. Also, try restarting your PC. Personally, I had to go so far as uninstalling and then reinstalling Kaspersky. On the hardware end, purchase the following GPS UPS device for 12 bucks and a USB female A to micro USB adapter. To get it to work, you can add the following to the config.toml. But some people, like me, have run into problems transposing the letters in the GPS dot device parameters or not realizing that the ellipse is a zero and not an O. So let's take this opportunity to look at the Ponogachi web UI. You can access a Ponogachi web UI by typing your Ponogachi's name dot local colon 8080 and logging in with the username and password change me. Alternately, you may have to use the IP address dot local colon 8080. Now the first thing we want to do is enable web config. Refresh and click the text. Control F and type in GPS. Set enabled to true. The other values should be fine if you're using the prescribed hardware. If it doesn't take, there may be a separate slider for GPS on the plugins page, so use that. Anyhow, plug everything together and take the Ponogachi for a walk outside. It took me 10 minutes to get a GPS lock, at which time the light on the dongle flashed green. Note that your Ponepet will only record and display GPS coordinates at the time that it consumes a handshake. As for accessing the data, the easiest way is to enable Web GPS Map, refresh, and then click on the text. The Ponogachi will send the data out to OpenStreetMap and plot wireless access point icons over a hybrid satellite road map. It doesn't get much cooler than that. We're going to have a few more Ponogachi tutorials, and pretty soon we're going to transition to some other hardware builds, maybe some Flipper Zero stuff, and try HackMe.com activities. So many activities! Do step class. It's making my head spin how many activities we can do. 